How easy it is to buy and sell property and shares. If you want to know how to buy and sell properties and shares, this video is for you. Hey guys, it's Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button because I talk about property investment, personal development, and how to gain financial freedom. So I'd like to thank each and everyone who has subscribed to my channel. The channel is growing immensely. I thank you and I thank you and thank you. I appreciate you so much. For those who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button now so that you can join the family. You see, when you are weighing up, putting your cash into stock or houses, a big thing to think about is how simple it is to get in and out of the market. Both have their upsides and downsides in these areas. So it's important for you to understand what are the ups and downs. You see, buying and selling houses in the UK, especially if you are from overseas, can be a bit of a headache. Um, it requires lots of paperwork, lots of legal stuff to sort out like conveyances which is basically making sure the property is legally yours before you sell it or buy it this can drag on for months and involves a, a fair bit of paperwork unless you get someone or some advices from someone who knows the ropes whose experience has done it lots of times to eliminate all these obstacles you may face along the way on the other side dealing with stuff is usually like a breeze you can set up an account online you get verified online with a few clicks you are off the race buying and trading stock and shares the whole thing is dig digitalized pretty much instant but the value of stock can jump around a lot it is very volatile and you might not always get someone willing to pay for your asking price straight away plus with stock you don't get something you can touch, feel, and sense. Compared to property which you can touch, feel, and visit, and, and literally sleep in. You see, both stock and houses are usually better as a long-term investment. Jumping in and out a lot of time can, can reduce the number of profit or the amount of profit you may make because fees and bad timing of the market. If being able, to move your money around quickly is important to you perhaps stock might hedge that for you it is because you can easily buy and sell them really really fast to fit in your need i.e you're able to sell and buy stock almost immediately with property you are in for the long term as it ties up your cash for a good few years in order for you to be able to sell and the selling process is usually time consuming as well. Houses and stock do different jobs in your, in your investment toolbox. Property is very good for making passive reoccurring income through the rental income and hopefully watching the value of your property goes up over time. You see, when it comes to stock, though it is handy for spreading your bet across different companies and riding the stock market up and down if you fancy more hands-on approach. However, there's a risk of you losing everything over time. In nutshell, while dealing with property might need more legal work, it gives you something solid, something substantial, and can be a better bet. Not just a better bet, but a safer bet. When it comes to stock, it is easy to go in and out of the market. You can flip it quickly and make your money, but it is a roller coaster ride. Mixing them up, having a property investment portfolio, and having stock and shares can reduce your risk significantly. This would also based on how much risk you are okay with, and how involved do you want to be in your investment portfolio? So looking at these pros and cons, look at your finances, look at your financial situation and determine what sort of investor you are. Are you one of those investors that likes to make passive reoccurring income while you see your property portfolio grow? Or perhaps you are a property investor who needs to invest and once you need your money, you can go in and literally get your money straight away. These are the key distinct identities when it comes to property and, uh, and stock. But hey, as we all know, property tend to grow up in value more than stock. In my opinion, if, you're, if I was to choose between houses and stock, I will go for houses because look, 
houses are there for lifetime. I can walk past it, I can drive past it. I've got my monthly recurring income. And look, looking at history, property prices tend to go up significantly than stock and shares. If you like this video or any of my video, hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. I look forward to sharing the next video. Thank you.